think about the theme of come and see, one of the things that immediately captures my imagination is that it's not set forth programmatic, that there's some discovery. It invokes an imagination. There's something distinct about the invitation of Jesus to the disciples when they're invited to come and see and to participate in the new work of God. It was the idea that God doesn't call us just to go and be. At first he tells us, come and see. Come and see what I'm doing. Come and see who I am. And Palcon just embraces that. We're not just coming together just for fellowship, but we are having fellowship. We're not coming together just to learn, but we are learning. We're not coming together just for worship, but we are worshiping while we're there. We have all of those things. So come and see what God has planned for that time together. I think of how as pastors and leaders, sometimes we're always pouring out. And when you hear Christ say, come and see the calling and the abiding, kind of the, the being filled so that we can go back to our local context and then pour out again. And that is very appealing to me. And I'm excited to see how uh, we will be poured into so that we may go back and be poured out for our local context. I think in a, in a world of great complexity right now, there's also the challenge to respond to that complexity and be equipped for that reality, and yet to also come back to the, the basic fundamentals of the gospel and ministry. What was appealing about Jesus? Because people came to Jesus, people flocked to Jesus. There was something different about him, so what was it? And how can we as the church embody that? How can we best respond to our congregations and equip them to be the church in the midst of turmoil. I'm intrigued by this, of this, this call for me to pause and to be aware of the complexity and not to allow just a sound bite or a Twitter size answer to suffice with these complex issues. What I've seen is as God calls and gathers us, something happens in those conferences that allows me and my life and our lives to be changed together. It was an amazing opportunity to just come together and collaborate and check in and network and meet a lot of people I never met. One of the things that I like most is to be able to share with different companions, colleagues, from different cultures. So I invite and exhort all those who can assist to Parkland to be present. It will be an experience that they will remember for always. I find myself stepping back and realizing these are my people. These are people that are processing life in similar ways to me. And yet at the same time, they challenge me, they grow me. It's become for me a, an opportunity to be better, uh, to develop my own calling, my skills. Something I, I, I cherish greatly, especially in the midst of a church that does get together regularly. This is one of those that especially needs to be a part of that plan. We invite you to PALCON 2018, a three-day gathering coming to our Nazarene school campuses next summer. Eastern Nazarene College, Southern Nazarene University, and Point Loma Nazarene University. Come and see, the PALCON 2018 theme invites us to transformational conversations around three sub-themes, calling and abiding, community and diversity, and clarity and complexity. We hope you join us to come and see.